If you're finding it difficult to record your tracks in just one take here in GarageBand, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to punch in so that you can record your tracks in multiple takes. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. Now, unless you are absolutely perfect, which I don't think any of us are, sometimes you need to record things in multiple takes, meaning you can start it and then you might reach a point where you make a mistake and then you want to start from that point instead of going all the way back to the start of the song. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different methods to punch in, which means that we can actually start recording partway through a song. Let's go. Now GarageBand does approach this a little bit differently with a lot of DAWs or digital audio workstations. You just line up your playhead here and then there'd be a different record mode. You can hold down the record button or you press a different record button to punch in and then what it will do, it'll play a little bit and then it will only start recording at the point where you want to punch in. GarageBand's a bit different in that as soon as you hit record, it will record there. But because it uses non-destructive editing, is no problem if we actually record before the point where we want to punch in. So let's just play back this little bit of this part of the vocal and I'll show you what I mean. So here's the song now. About how they appear. What's the matter with so what I'm going to do is let's pretend that I didn't like that what's the matter bit there. I want to re-record that section. So I want to punch in right here. Now what I could do, I could just line up my playhead here and I could hit record and record straight away. So if I did that, I'd have to hit record now. What's the matter with people these days? I can record that very poorly in my morning voice <laughs> using the built-in mic. And you can see there that, yeah, it's gone through. It's, it's way louder because I'm using a, the built-in mic here on the iPhone. But if we just, uh, let's just quieten that one down so it's not going to be too too confronting when we transition. So here's what the new, new transition would sound like. Care about how they appear. What's the matter with people these days? Suddenly Pete goes underwater uh, and is singing there. Uh, so that's one way to do it. That's actually, there's three ways. That's the first way, but you only get that one bar of lead in. But what if we wanted, say, an extra couple of bars to actually get ourselves ready? Well, let's undo this one. We'll undo again. And what we can actually do is because, again, we've got non-destructive editing, let's just come back two bars here and we'll hit record and record over. Uh, we won't actually start recording till here, but we'll just give ourselves two bars to get ready and start our singing. So let's hit record. What's the matter with people these days? And then we can hit stop again, go back to our track view, and there is our little punched in section. Now you're probably saying, Pete, you've cut off this start of the vocal here. No problem, all we need to do, again, non-destructive editing, is grab this handle and drag it back to here, like so and then grab this handle and drag it back because it hasn't removed any of that, it's all still there. And all we need to do is find the gap here between these two, and there we go. So now if we wanted to transition, I'm just gonna turn it down again because it's gonna to be too loud. Uh, now if we listen to this transition. Care about how they appear. What's the matter with people these days? They don't seem to do. And there you go, it goes straight back into that. So we can cut in, we can punch in and punch back out in the middle of a section here. If this went too long, no problem. We could just cut that back and then move this. So we've got complete control over our editing here to punch in and out. But there's another method that we can use that might be more convenient for you. So let's undo all of these and go back to our original vocal there. Now the other method for punching in is actually using a second track. And this is something I do quite often. In fact, you can see there's a track down here already <laughs> from when I've probably done this on this song. But what we do is we firstly duplicate this track. So we're gonna tap on the track itself right here on the uh, microphone icon and then tap on duplicate. And this creates an exact replica of this track. So right down to the automation curve, all of the effects, all of the plugins, everything on here is gonna be identical to this first track. And what we now can do is you're probably ahead of me on this one, is we can actually line up and record on this second track over the top of the first track. So if we wanted to cut in here, so let's come to our position here, we just have this track armed this time and we'll hit record. Care about how they appear. What's the matter with people these days? And we can record that part on this second track. So now that we've got this one here, what we can do is we can either cut out the original version. So if we didn't want this version, we could just tap it there, tap again, split it, and then come down to here 
and then do the same. We'll just uh, pop it there and tap, tap again, split it, and then delete in this section. So we'll tap, hit delete. Again, we'll turn this down because I'm recording at a much higher volume here. Uh, and then what we can do, if we listen to this transition, it'll sound fine because these two tracks, once again, are 100% identical. Let's take a listen. Care about how they appear. What's the matter with people these days? They don't seem to... And again, if I had my microphone plugged in, it would sound a lot better, but I'm using that to do the commentary for this video. So let's uh, undo that one. So you can see there, oh, and the other thing you could do is if you wanted to, if you wanted to bring this all back onto one track, no problem. You just find the split point here. You split it there. Uh, you find the end split point here, like so. You split it there, and then we just need to drag this and move it right up into there. And there you go. Now you can have your one. Well, I didn't quite do that properly, did I? You would do it better than that. You would put it in the actual right spot. What's the uh, so that's the way that we can use our punching in and punching out. Now, before we finish up, you may be saying, that's great for vocals, Pete, but what about virtual instruments? Well, it's actually even better and easier with a virtual instrument, and I'll show you why now. Let's jump over to this organ track. So we'll just uh, solo this organ, and then I think if we play from here. Yeah, so we'll... We'll punch in from this part here. So we'll pretend that we, we didn't get this bit right and we want to punch in from here. Now, what we can do is we can go back. So like we did before, if we want to get a few bars in beforehand. So we'll come back here to say bar 25. We'll tap uh, on our organ and then we'll tap on our piano key there so that we can get ready to play this. So I'll, I'll hit the record button and then when we get to that section, I'll start playing. Let's go. You know what helps if you actually uh, unsolo the instrument so I can actually hear the rest of the song. Let's come back and try again. Hey, who they can do something for? We're trying to have a society here, but they only care about how they appear. What's the matter with people these days? They don't All right, let's uh, hit stop there, come back here to our track now what you can see here is i actually came in too early on this one so i started playing there by mistake so i don't want that part i'm going to drag this one back out over here to where i actually started but then we can bring in this stuff back again so let's just pretend i deliberately did that to show you that we can do that so now it can transition directly between here and how they appear what's the matter with people these days and then back to its original they don't seem so again, we can punch in quite easily there, but I'm just going to undo this and undo and undo again, because the even better thing is that with something like this, it won't actually, if I didn't hit that note before, it doesn't actually punch in until you start recording. So let's show you what I mean here again. We'll hit record from here. hit stop on that one come back to our track view and this time around look at that it hasn't actually deleted any of the previous sections so with a virtual instrument it's only when you first start playing it's smart enough to know it's not going to record over blank space it's going to let you record over just the parts where you are actually playing so that's super handy we'll just undo that again to go back to our original track so there you go uh, two maybe three methods to punch in here in GarageBand because you know what none of us are perfect and if you do want to do your recordings in multiple parts especially for things like guitars and vocals that are hard to do all the way through especially in a longer song then there's absolutely no shame in chopping it up and recording it in multiple parts by punching in i hope you found this useful there's two more videos linked down below you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the studio live today icon and i'll see you on the next video